okay. There we go. The handshakes. Nice. Said, what's good? What's good? One local today with obviously best deck unchained. Already one local. It's like 3 p.m. But... Okay, so we're going to see Camara. it looks like. Camara branded. Then they're going to start with Per Lily. I mean, that's just going to get hit with Imperm. That's just like the most obvious Imperm spot. Oh, they're going to read it. Okay. I mean, yeah, that you definitely Imperm that. Yup, try to shut that down. Maybe a cross out or something from the other side. Otherwise, just an extender. Oh, okay. Yep. Prosperity. It always sucks to get per Lily Imperm because then it feels like you want to summon another one later on. It's just the value isn't there. Said, bro, it's 9 a.m. for me. Huh? Are you read a... Said, oh, God, no. Read Lily? Yeah, read Lily's crazy. But, yeah, 9 a.m. winning locals today. That ain't up. I can't even, uh, yeah, I can't even see what Prosperity hit. There's Droll, Sleepy, Street. I saw those. Okay. Um, I guess next time I have to pay, like, really close attention when they're Prosperity so I can see them while they're flipping it off the deck. Okay, activate Talents now. So, wait. So, <laughs> they just Talents to improve. It is Talents Imperm. Yo. I mean, that's what you expect from round one at regionals, to be honest. That, I expect nothing less. That is crazy, though. That is crazy. They just talented when they got hit with Imperm. And they showed their hand. They showed the hand. They showed the hand. That's the worst part. And... <laughs> Now they're going to go Sleepy, Discard Talents, go summon out Pearly, and then Pearly Effect. Um, let's find out. Are they going to they gonna Moonland at this? They said, bro, what is this? This is this is round one of a regional. I mean, like, it's round one of regional. Now they're going to Pearly on Sleepy, but it's Impermed. Ah, it's going so bad. This turn one's rough. At least we have, like, Sylvan XYZ that we can make. Okay, activate happy. Protecting pearly discard book. Ooh, ulti book. Nice. So this goes to regionals. Yeah, yeah. This is uh this is regionals. This is round one of regionals, uh. I mean, come on, it's like round one of regionals. Like, you know, you're you're gonna have mistakes. Especially it's like early in the morning too. So hopefully round two. Whoop, everyone's warmed up, ready to play. But they're going to it has to be Pearly. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, you can't go for Pearl Lily anymore because uh, you already used the second effect on the Sleepy, even though it was Impermed. So you can't even try to use its effect again. Um, but okay, so they're going to bring out Pearly. Pearly effect, hit Happy, Talents, Book. You know, grab Happy to hand. Okay. Uh, make the Sylvan XYZ. Use its effect. Okay, so they're going to go Pearly Effect to XYZ up in the Happiness. Do they not play the Sylvan? Maybe they play like the, uh, the Assembual Robin. Said, really throwing it up, huh? Wait, they're going to Link? Huh? No. Is this turn two? Did they like... Wait... I don't agree with this. I'm so confused with this end board. Happiness plus Azalea. You only end on happiness if it's like... If you're down bad, right? Like, if you're pearly hit only happy, and you have, like, field spell plus my friend, it's like, alright. I may as well do this, because it'll give me more follow-up, hopefully. Um, and even then it doesn't feel good. So I don't know why they went for it there. Because you're really hoping that your opponent, like, attacks happy. That's the only way it does anything. And, like, every deck has, like, spot removal some way or another. Said, nah, no way. Oh, God, no. Branded Fusion just resolved. Yeah, that's just game. That's just game. That's how they're going to get them to their Chimera stuff. Um, Honestly, like, I can see Branded opening in their deck. 
which doesn't really tell us that much, but maybe if there's, like, other branded cards? No, there isn't. Okay. Yeah, it really is just, like, Camaro with, like, the small branded package. I was trying to see if there was other Camaro stuff. I was going to say, if we just go for, like, Mirror Jade and then maybe, like, set something during end phase that's decent, like, uh, Retribution, like, that. that's probably just GG. But doesn't look like they're playing that. But they're going to dump Fallen of Albaz and Valor. Okay, to summon out Albion, and then they can activate Albion effect, go banish and summon, so banish, bring out Mirror Jade, yeah. I mean, in this game state, Mirror Jade is very good. Very, honestly, most game states, Mirror Jade's a very good card, but this one especially said, branded best deck. <laughs> it's not even branded. It's just hand traps, branded fusion. Yep, summon out Mirror Jade, and then, I mean, we have a Chimera card, right? Right? Okay, okay, yeah, there's, there's at least the Gazelle in hand. That's something. Oh, it's Gazelle. Okay, so I mean, I think they have the Big Winged in hand, too, so they can just search Chimera Fusion and then activate it. And then they can make the King, they can search, uh... They can rip a card during end phase. That's also good because then they can attack over happiness. They don't even have to banish because then whatever they search, it gets ripped during end phase. So that's nice. Yeah, not even having to use your Mirror Jade Banish and your opponent's on zero cards. So they're on zero cards and they have to play through a Mirror Jade Banish. Um, it should be a monster negate because instead of dumping Valor, we should have dumped uh, Sword Knight. And then here we would have been able to big wing summon back out Sword Knight. So we did mess up there and not give ourselves like an extra body and extra advantage on our opponent's turn. So that was definitely a misplay. They're probably not used to having to dump Sword Knight. Um, said nah, Salad Best deck. You know, after I go EXO and Swiss and in finals. Sheesh! Uh, this engine is crazy. This is a regional. Yep, this is a round. This is round one of regionals right now. This is round. Well, not right now, but this is a, a live stream of it that happened yesterday from the Millennium Games, Rochester, New York. I was there. I got fifth place at this regionals. I was. I didn't get to go on stream though. They asked the last round. I rolled the dice. It was even. So I was like, all right, I'll go on stream. But my opponent was already on it, so they were like, nah. Fair. So they're going to Mirror Jade to go ahead and out the Azalea. Okay. And then attack over. They're going to activate the effect of search. Right? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So go ahead and search. They're going to grab Pretty Memory. Uh, Crush Cards commentated. Yep. 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 Logan from Crush Cards. You, you can, I mean, you can see him, like, right there. <laughs> They're, like, my co-commentator. But you can't hear him because I have it muted. But, yeah, end phase, they get to rip. So, rip the pretty memory. I mean, the opponent's kind of okay with that. You know, happy that they got a... Wait. Okay, okay. I was going to say happy that they got pretty memory in Grave, at least. Uh, the Camaro player played really awkward there, but they had Camaro Fusion versus a top deck, so they're just never getting out of that. So now we can go ahead and go into the next game. Um, actually, before I skip past the side decking, I was going to say, let me see if I can see what they're siding in and what they're siding out, because this camera angle might show both. It kind of does. It kind of does. Um, okay, so it looks like... Pearly was siding out books, which is fair. Books aren't very good in this matchup. So maybe take out those. Uh, if they're main decking six of them, potentially. Looks like Cosmics are going in for the Chimera deck. Cosmic. Nah, the Cosmic, Cosmic wouldn't even be good. Let's see, what do they side out? Um, Droll you can side out, Called by you can side out, I don't even see what that was, 
Um, I was going to say, like, Imperm, Valor. Those are really good. Oh, takes out the Valor. I mean, ah, that's rough. That's rough. Uh, you can take out Droll for sure. You can take out Opening. Droll's just, like, not that great against Pearly. It's, like, it's decent. Like, Valor is way better. Like, if you Valor per Lily, that's rough. That is, like, really rough. Um, where, like, Droll, it's, like, yeah, you could Droll after per Lily, and I search my friend, but, like, my per Lily's still alive, I guess. Like, I can't search anymore. I don't know. It's, it's a give and take, I guess. But, bro, you went to New York for regionals. I'm sick. Bro, it's closer than Ohio regionals. Like, what? That's, like, the same distance. But, like, what? You gotta realize, New York's a huge state. Like, you could go to one side of New York, which is, like, a 9, 10-hour drive. You could go to the other side of New York, which is, like, a 3.5-hour drive. Like, there, there's a big difference between, you know, New York. There's a, New York's big. Um, what you play at the regionals? Oh, I played, uh, I played Pearly. But that deck's horrible, and I'm not playing that deck again. Don't you live in Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. It was only three and a half hours. But, well, I guess it was less than that. Because I went somewhere. But, to, that was my first time ever going to Rochester. Never been there. Bro, New York City is bigger than half my country. That's fair. That's fair. But I'm not even talking about New York City. I'm just talking about New York. Why didn't she like Pearly? Uh, Imperm, Valor, Moonlit. Those cards hurt too much. I don't want to play a deck that loses to, like, actually feels like it crumbles to Imperm. So they're going to go normal Pearly effect. No, you don't Valor Pearly. You Valor Pearly. It's really easy to teach people how to hand trap Pearly. I did it, like, uh, right before Nats, actually. My buddy was like, I have no idea how to play against Pearly. What do I do? And it's like, look, you have a hand trap. The black cat is what you hit with the hand trap. That's it. Do that. You'll be good. Go for it. And the yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot more to it. But you normally just hit Pearly. Pearly is not that good to hit most of the time. Unless if it's like really simplified game state. Um, hey yo, how's everyone doing? What's up? Doing good, doing good. Uh, so they're going to reveal three pretty... Yep, scrabble in the hand. Yeah, whenever I reveal three of the same card, I usually just do like... I'll put like two out to the side and I'll just like put the third one in my hand. It's like, yep, scrab that. Oh, they have judgment. Oh, judgment's nice. Judgment's nice, nice. So that'll play around a book, which they might have, and they could also top deck it. So if they don't have one, then that plays around like the top deck book. But activate pretty, discard my friend, and then we're gonna go summon out per lily, per lily effect resolves. And they're thinking on what to grab. They don't have sleepy in rotation. Yeah, so they're gonna grab the trap card since they can't make the little new ore. Also, hopefully after round one, they, they fix, like, the glare problem. But per Lily, upgrade, going to beauty. White cat do be missing. <laughs> yeah, white cat do be missing. So they're going to go up in the beauty. They're going to read up. That's crazy. Uh, where is the regional streamed? Uh, Twitch. But they're going to go up in the beauty. And then... So... Oh, are they not setting? Okay, yeah, yeah, set two. Well, obviously, they have to set at least one, because they, the, they added the trap. And then pass. Okay, so... Chimera can play through this pretty easy from what I'm seeing. It looks like an imperm, and then a one-spin new war. We just have to be able to do all... And, and we have brain infusion to start it off. I mean, I guess they, we also know they have judgment. Yeah, so they're going to Judgment the Branded Fusion, shut that down. They have Beauty that, like, you know, beats the Chimera stuff. Assuming that they just go, like, 
you know, Sword Knight into level 5 or something, then, you know, Beauty's in Perm, that's enough to deal with that. Um, how do you go on 3, Hand Trap Rip, and, oh, Hand, oh, hand Trap Rip and not know how to play against Pearly? Well, I mean, to be fair, if you just play a bunch of hand traps, maybe you just draw a bunch of hand traps. You never actually learn how to play against the deck you're playing against. You're just throwing hand traps at them. But Cornfield, grab Sword Knight. Okay. And then... Oh, also, it's kind of scary. They have a pearly in attack position. You know, they just took a bunch of life points. They're down to 4250... Yeah, so they're down at 42.50 now. Is it 42.50? Didn't they pay 500 first? Or 500? Or I guess it's the same anyways. Okay, fair. Normal summon out Sword Knight. And then they're reading over it. Yeah, it, it sucks. You can't go to a battle phase with that thing and try to beat over beauty. Because even if you try, it can't, like, beat over it by battle. Because none of them, nothing that battles with it will go... But they're going to bring out the big winged and then big winged effect. They're going to chain beauty to negate that. Do they have chimera fusion to respond? No, okay, but they have thrust. So, God, no. Reading best deck. Bro, Yu-Gi-Oh is like this now. Back in the day, they didn't let anyone, even the TOs, record the event. This is crazy. Yeah, I will... It's been, they've been doing that for a while. Like, House of Champs used to record regionals back in 2015. Back in, uh, right, I think it was right after Full Power Pepe. So, he was allowed to record them, like, <clears throat> eight and a half years ago. But it's cool that now, wait, is he watching a video? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Watching a stream. Oh, Thrust for Branded Fusion activated again. Yep, Judgment negates the activation, so... I mean, it's, it's the... I was going to say it's Yeep. Okay, yeah, so they're going to activate Yeep in response to upgrade into Noir, and then they can dump Fawn of Albaz and Gazelle. Say word. I don't get that in Canada. They still won't let me uh, in this place with a nice camera. That's fair. I mean... I don't know. I've never asked to record, so I don't really have any opinions on how hard it is or not. Just because I've never asked. Is so that just game? Probably. It should be game, right? Because they have Sword Knight, Corn... Oh, wait. I was going to say, spread through that graveyard again. Okay. Sword Knight. They're reading Branded Fusion. Yeah. What do you dump? Do you dump Fawn of Albaz and... They don't have a, uh, a Fiend anywhere. So do you dump Fawn of Albaz and a Light? Or... Confused, huh? What do they have in their hand? They had Engine, right? Wait, they had a... Oh, wait, they had to have had another Engine card in hand. Had to have had another engine card in hand. Because we saw, like, all monsters in one spell last turn. So they would have top decked the other one. Oh, it's Droll. Oh, it's Droll in their hand? Okay, well, that card doesn't do anything, then. So do you dump Fallen of Albaz plus a Light? Or do you dump Big Winged and go for Lubelion? And then maybe you go, like, Lubelion 1, Big Wing 2... Someone out Sword Knight. It's not really that good though. Summoning out Sword Knight doesn't really do anything. I don't know. Make Rinbrum add Chimera Fusion. But what gets you the Chimera Fusion? Because they already summoned. So they're going to dump Gazelle, Fallen of Albaz, make Rinbrum. Am I missing something? Okay, so then they're going to get Gazelle effect. They already normaled, right? Well, what'd you say? Well, or he, they already used Cornfield. They used Cornfield to get Sword Knight. Okay, so now they're trying to use Gazelle effect to search... And they, they already normaled. They already normaled. So they're going to grab that. 
cornfield adds monster anyways. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They, but they're already normal, so... It, yeah. They're just gonna bring out Rinbrim, though. That can negate the new war and bounds. Not bad. So, they could just go battle phase, beat over Pearly. Do you just beat over Pearly? Pass. It's not bad. It's not great. It's definitely not great, but... You don't lose right away. Nah, you probably do lose right away, to be honest. Just because they're going to have Noir on their field, which is going to bait Rinbrum. And then they have my friend Pearly, which is going to let them just play however they want to play. But I guess they do have Droll, so Droll will stop the happiness from being able to just go absolutely crazy. So instead of Rinbrum, maybe they could have went for... See, if they went for Lubellion, dump Big Wing, bring out Sword Knight, Lubellion effect. Um, no, because they don't have... Or they... Yeah, they didn't have Gazelle in rotation until they put it into rotation. Okay. Reveal Cornfield. Yeah, I don't think there was a way for game. Lubellion or Albion, I don't think gets there. Because we just don't have a whole lot to work with. So if they just spin back like Fallen of Albaz, there's just not a whole lot to do. But they're going to go Nuor, target Rinbrum. Then they're going to chain the Rinbrum effect to bounce. Oh! Okay. They're going to bounce. It's not Nuor. It's probably just bounce big winged. You don't have to bounce. So they're going to read the My Friend Pearly. You could bounce the Big Winged to try to, like, play around the happiness attacking or something. Why Big Winged in defense? I'm not sure. Then they just summoned it off Sword Knight like that. To be fair, they also are reading, like, Pearly and stuff, so I doubt they know what, like, Pearly happiness is going to do exactly into that defense position monster. So, they have Yeep in Graveyard that can put back too, which is good. They detach the Pretty from the Noir, so that's not under it anymore to try to do anything. So they're going to go Normal Summon Pearly, and then Pearly Effect, Talons, Pearlily, Field Spell, Get Field Spell, but now you get hit with Droll. It probably should have then start with my friend Pearly. So that way you can like choose what you're adding to your hand this turn in case you get hit with Droll. Uh, if it was an attack, Bounce Noir was game, no. Uh, if it was an attack, Bounce Noir was game, no. Uh, no. It wouldn't have been game. Right? Because we, we have 25. No, that's just not enough for game. So now, okay, now they're going to read over Rinbrom and Gek. That, I mean, it is an interruption. You know, if an XYZ, Link, Fusion. What else is on it? I actually don't know what else Rinbrom says. There probably is something else. But, whatever. If something activates its effect, you can activate that, negate it, and then if you want to, you can bounce. Who is the random person in bottom left? This is the person. Uh, this is a Crush Cards. If you want to go ahead and check them out on, like, YouTube or something. Uh, they're the ones who, like, commentated the tournament, like, in person. I'm just kind of, like, it's, like, a day later I'm going over this. But they're the ones that, like, you know, actually commentated it. Um, but, okay. So, switch the Noir to attack, activate field spell. Are, are we doing the good technique? Are we doing the Zeus technique? The not great technique? Are we doing the great technique? The attack and the Rinbrum technique? I was going to say attack in the Rinbrum, you know, my friend Pearly, add back from Graveyard, Street Summon. It doesn't really do a whole lot. There's probably there's probably something that you can get out of it. You can get like a Zeus Pretty or a Zeus Beauty. Yeah, you can get Zeus Beauty out of that play for sure. But now they're going to go for Zeus. Yeah, because you, you could have had Zeus with four materials plus Beauty with a Sleepy under it too. And actually, there may be a way to do it differently, too, where you get to, like, attach the Rinbrum 
to the beauty. Maybe they have that. Maybe they have something that they were able to just, like, set and send. But maybe there was a way to try to get something to that. But... Okay, so make the Zeus. Oh, you are you are you gonna Zeus wipe here? Oh, it yeah, it's just game over. It's just GGs. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like you just can't make you can't make Zeus there. You just can't do it. Not in like that position. Cause if you Zeus wipe, you have no follow up. And if you don't, okay, if you don't Zeus wipe. Your opponent has a negate for it, and the Zeus does nothing. If you Zeus wipe, exactly, the Fallen of Alba as you put to the top of the graveyard is going to allow them to mirror jade you. So it's like, it's a lose-lose scenario now. You had to crash Nuor in the Rinbroom. Wait, do we even have enough life points to do it? I actually don't even know how many life points we had. Um... Seven. Okay. Yeah, we had enough to do it. Yeah, we had enough to attack in the Rin room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause yeah, cause they're 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 the ones at one thousand one hundred fifty. So if you just gang them to seven hundred, that's eighteen fifty. You can definitely attack in the Rin room, let it crash, and then try to do stuff. But now they're gonna go Cornfield in the Sword Knight. Hopefully they have Ash Blossom. An Ash Blossom would be really good. Yeah, Ash Blossom would be nice. Normal gazelle effect, ash. Yeah, I mean you have to ash. If you have it, you have to. Otherwise, they get to add Chimera Fusion, and Chimera Fusion definitely just beats you. They'll have many monster negates, and they'll get to rip your ash also. But they said okay, so they're bluffing their card in their hand. Then I respect it. They're gonna grab Chimera Fusion off Gazelle, and then reading the Chimera Fusion. Good to know exactly what the card does. By the way, we just lose to Zeus now. Yes. Is that a commentator? Yep. It's Logan from Crush Cards who is commentating this tournament. But now they're going to go uh, Chimera Fusion to go up into Chimera the King. And then they're going to go Gazelle, Big Winged, and King Effect. So they get to summon back from the graveyard an Illusionist. Search for an illusionist. Rip during the end phase. They're gonna activate Zeus. They're gonna chain Rinbrum, bouncing the Zeus. Yeah, and they have another. Yeah, I was gonna say they have more interruptions. Oh, what was that? Was oh, that Bell? I think that's Bell. Yeah, yeah, that's Bell. Wow, that was Starlight Rare Bell. Oh, there was D Barrier. Yeah, that. Oh, wait, okay, 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 so yeah, you could have went, like, add back pretty, summon Lily, activate the pretty, discard bell, bring out pearly, overlay, rank one, 